Hi YouTube, it's Acacia. I am back. Um, I know I've been away for a little bit, but I'm having a good day today, which really started off really bad because I think I had a flu or something. I don't know. I just know I'm not eating Wendy's at a late time anymore. Bada bing, bada boom. So, as you guys can see, I have on clothes. I have my hair did, which I'm going to scoop down so you guys can see my hair. Okay. Boom. Like, I'm just so excited, like, for this twist out. This is a twist out, guys. A twist out. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got a little part right there. Yeah, my hair is really thick. I tried the best <laughs> I could. I tried to put a pin up in there so it kind of hold it down, which is kind of working, kind of not working. But I'm digging it. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to come in here and just tell you guys how I kind of, like, accomplished this look. Um... A lot of times I do have a hard time doing a twist out with my hair being so thick. And with having thick hair, my hair tends to be like very dry. And that's why a lot of times my twist out doesn't come out like how I want it to. But today it came out very defined and it did its thing today. Now, I did not do the twist myself. I got my friend to do it because I just was being lazy. It was just a normal twist out. Probably like medium sized twist. Um, I think it's the smaller your hair is, the more defined, like the smaller the twist you do, the more defined your hair will be. So, mine was like kind of medium ish, something like that. Um, yeah, and I got my eyebrows on today, y'all. Like, I'm just, I did not come to play with you all. No, but um, when I do my twist outs, I do not do it on dry hair. It's not really a good idea to do it on dry hair. Some people can do that and accomplish a good look on it. But I can't do that because, like, I'm, like, somewhere between 4B and 4C. My hair is too thick for that. And I need some type of moisture on my hair or it's just going to look like a Brillo pad. So, um, in this magical bottle here, um, I use these two products. I use... My Shea Butter Proclaim Leave-In Moisturizer. And I probably did about, like, squeezing the bottle probably like five seconds. And then I shook the bottle up a little bit. And then I felt like I needed something that was kind of, like, moisturizing. Which is, which I know this is a leave-in moisturizer, but sometimes my hair needs that extra step. And I know conditioner is never too bad for your hair. So I just used my... Proclaim Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner, which was very interesting because it definitely did make my hair very soft. Like, normally my twists are not even movable. They don't really shake. They don't really move. But they were, like, actually moving because, like, this moisture was just, like, a good combination. And then I just put water in there just to kind of, like, stretch it. And then I just shook it up because um, I'm pretty sure if I was just to put this and this together on my hair, my hair would be as white as a snowflake so that's why i didn't want to do that and um yeah but i am very interested on trying um a wash and go i haven't really gotten to that yet but i've been seeing a lot of people with my hair type um doing it and it looks very cute and it's very hard for us girls to show our like real defined coils or curls whatever you want to call it because once I hair is dry, there is no coming back from that. But when my hair is wet and I have, like, some conditioner or I'm washing my hair, like, my curls, coils are just, like, boom, like, in your face. Like, it's me. Like, if y'all see my hair wet, y'all see my hair, like, now, like, y'all be like, this is not the same type of hair. And I promise you it is. It's just weird, you know? You just got to know how to work with your hair, and I'm I'm still learning. I've been natural for about 10 to 11, 12 months, something like that. So if you've been natural for 6 to 8 months, don't feel bad because you still don't know what you're doing with your hair because it is a process. It's, you know, your hair is growing, your hair is changing, especially if you haven't been natural since you were a kid. It's definitely a big life-changing decision. Um... Yeah, so um, the twist out probably took me about two two hours, but that was because I was like chit chatting with my friends. I mean, I guess it just really depends on 
what kind of headspace you're in or who's doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't have a problem with sitting there, you know, because it was my friend or whatever. But if I probably would have went to the shop, it probably would have been done less than like an hour or whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to come show you guys that, like, my hair is popping, y'all. Like, I was just so excited. And, um, I I wish I really could, um, wear my twist out, like, to work. Because sometimes I just don't feel like dealing with my fro. Like, sometimes a twist out is just, like, a lazy hairstyle. Like, it's kind of like a protective style. Like, you don't have to do anything to it. You just shake and go. But I work at a restaurant, and it's in a nice area. And they already kind of look at me when I have this fro. So I really don't want them looking at me when I got little twists. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, yeah, I'm having a good hair day. I'm having a good day. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And um, stay tuned for the rest of my videos. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.